a Farscape reboot, a Farscape remake, oh no, a Farscape continuation, oh yes, welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. A bit like Babylon 5 at the time, Farscape was just one of those shows that was just different. It stood out from the crowd. It was well ahead of its time. When it was cancelled in 2002, there was a massive campaign that resulted in us getting the miniseries The Peacekeeper Wars. The Sci-Fi Network has been showing this series ever since. And on the 20th anniversary, Amazon showed all four series and The Peacekeeper's Wars on Amazon Prime. It continues to be one of those series that people that really love sci-fi go back to again and again and again. I've told you several times that in the last couple of years, there's been a big push towards a Babylon 5 remake. As I say, a show that's very similar to Farscape in its sort of cult following. But a lot of fans don't want a remake of Babylon 5. They're actually quite angry about it. I get lots of comments, go and have a look at any of my Babylon 5 videos, about people saying, for the love of God, don't do this, don't do a remake. Farscape though, that's not what they're thinking. According to one of my sources that's actually spoken to people at Brian Henson's production company personally, Brian Henson is once again pushing for a continuation of Farscape. Now, this is not the first time he's tried to do this. Going back five or six years, he was really pushing very hard, but actually only a couple of years ago, in 2019, he was seriously trying to get this done. And he was even talking about the original cast returning then. In 2020, there was a Comic-Con live video with lots of the original actors on board talking about how Brian Henson had been having a chat with them, trying to get them involved, and how most of them were very agreeable. But that got poo-pooed on by the lockdowns and a worldwide pandemic. And then about eight months ago, there was rumours about them trying again. There was a slightly complicated picture about who actually owns the rights to the series. This was a show that was actually produced by um, Brian Henson's production company, Jim Henson's Productions, and um, Hallmark. In cooperation with the Sci-Fi Network that is owned by um, NBC and Paramount, and an Australian network. This was actually one of those very rare things, an Australian-American TV show. Don't happen very often. I'm being told, though, that that actually now has been resolved. Brian Henson does still have an element of the rights, and so does Hallmark, and so does NBC. They are more than happy now to start very serious conversations about this continuation. And I mean a proper continuation. The actors Ben Browder, Claudia Black, Gigi Edgeley, and Anthony Simcoe are apparently all had very early conversations and are all interested in a return. For me as well, these actors have not aged badly in the 20 years since this show. So anybody that's going to get a comment now and say, oh, they'll need Zimmer frames, I don't agree. Ben Browder, to be fair, looks pretty much the same as he did, well, not in Farscape because he was a kid in Farscape, but in like towards the end of SG-1, he most definitely can still do the action role. But is there a story there to tell? Well, at the end of the Timekeeper's Wars, yes, okay, a lot of the main storyline was resolved. But there's a whole universe there to explore, a new threat potentially to fight against. This is a universe that is full of violence. So, of course, creating a new TV series, continuing on from where they left off, obviously two decades later, is not going to be that difficult. And with Brian Henson involved, well, I can only hope that we will not go the way of loads and loads of CGI and we will get the brilliance of some real puppetry going on. That was one of the joys of Farscape, was that it didn't use stupid special effects when it didn't need to. It used the Muppetry Master 
to get some of those effects done and to have characters that we could really interact with and that the actors could properly interact with. I'm hoping that that is the way it goes once again, because, well, if Brian Henson is involved, surely it's got to. But how likely is this to actually get to production? And if it does come into production, where will you get to see it? Well, apparently the conversations at the moment are again between NBC and to get this on the sci-fi network in the United States at very least. But of course, there are some problems. One, Jim Henson and Hallmark can't really produce a show like this on their own. They're going to need another partner. And that is the conversation that's happening at the moment. I'm looking for that production partner. There are plenty of them out there and there are plenty of big fans of Farscape that I'm absolutely certain will get on board. At the moment though I'm hearing that those conversations are being facilitated through Amazon Pictures. Now it will not be Amazon that produced this TV show but Amazon have several partners that would be very interested and they are basically supporting Brian Henson and Hallmark's plans and getting them in with a production company that can really do this justice. Why are Amazon involved? Well, as I said, on the 20th anniversary, just a couple of years ago, Amazon Prime did pick up Farscape and were showing it and were very pleased with the numbers. They do not have any sort of rights involved and Hallmark NBC and Brian Henson need a bit of cash. So according to the source I've been speaking to, the current plan which is not nailed down yet, but it's what they're working towards, would be that this show would appear on the Sci-Fi Network. NBC would be the main customer, but that would only be in the United States. Internationally, this show would appear on Amazon's Freebie, and Amazon would be picking up at least some of the bill for that. This is the only real way the show is going to get made with multiple partners, I'm afraid, which... I don't think is a great idea if I'm 100% honest. I always think too many cooks do spoil the broth. I think too many production companies 100% spoil the TV series. And when you've got a show like this, it really needs one clear vision. If there are lots of different companies saying what this show should be, it really could very quickly lose its way. To be honest, Fast Game is one of those shows that I think can very easily be brought back and continued. It could be updated in limited ways, even though looking back on the show, I don't think the story needs to at all. I think the story is just as relevant now as it was then. I think the casting was perfect and can return. And I think it'll be nice, maybe, if we get the original series sort of remastered and touched up a little bit as a build up towards the new show getting released. Maybe that goes on Prime too. Maybe that will make us happy. It'll make me happy. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Is this a show that you would love to see come back as a proper continuation? Not a remake for once. I'd also love to know, though, is this what you would love to see with Babylon 5, if it was possible? Unfortunately, with Babylon 5, a lot of the cast and crew have passed away since the production of the series. Farscape doesn't really have that problem. But... In an ideal world, is this what you'd want to see from Babylon 5 as well? Personally, it is for me. So, Farscape, a continuation. What do you think? Get into the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack, where most of our new videos appear first. And you get to see them without the adverts for a small contribution that really supports the channel. You can also go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website where we do articles based on most of our stories and you get to have a little bit more information for you to chew on. Go check it out. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.